Hello YouTube, I'm Chris the Country Cottage Gardener and I welcome you back to another video. It's been a little while, I thought I'd just do a quick video here while I'm actually just weeding along this beautiful patch of lavender. Now, one of my favourite jobs is when this comes to cut back. I, know, I love lavender but cutting this back is one of the favourite jobs but we've got a long way off yet to go. So here we are, beginning of summer and I just thought I'd you know, for the new gardeners out there or anybody that might stumble across the video from the tag words that I put on about the white froth which you might be seeing on some of your plants at this time of year. So the white froth that we're going to be, I'll show you a little bit, there's not much along here, but there's a little bit of it like I show you. You typically find it on your rosemaries, your um, lavenders, uh, rose bushes, dahlias, you know some really high scented, um, some really high scented plants. So um it's called cuckoo spit it's called cuckoo spit and basically it's a, a froth which has been generated by the frog hopper larvae uh, by the frog hopper insect and it's called a frog hopper because it looks like a frog and funny enough it hops so let's just switch the camera around and i'll just show you a little example of it and we'll have a bit more chat about the actual the way the disgusting way that the frog hopper actually produces this to protect the the nymph inside anyway let's have a little look okay so that's a feather let's have a little look here so here we are this is what you might be seeing over all your uh, beautiful plants and what this basically is is the frog hopper larvae has produced this foam I'm going to try and see if I can find there it is and he's off now that's actually quite a well developed one um, I did see these the other week in oh, he's fallen over Let's see if I can get him under my finger no he's gone he's fallen down so that sticky white foam is um, produced by the frog hopper through glands in its anus so <laughs> it actually produces this foam and as you can imagine it's actually just to protect the nymph whilst it's going through its uh, pupation I think that's the, the right terminology for it so basically why it's growing um, that nymph will feed on the tender stems it will go into the sap which is why you always find them like in the little crests of, of plants um, so basically that it produces this uh, fart bubble sticky stuff mm -hmm. to protect um, you know it, it's, it's growth and everything um, but I mean on plants like this it's not going to decimate it it's not so much of a problem so traditional insecticides aren't really going to be effective um, on this sort of thing but there's there's other ways I mean you could just see how easy that came off with me just flicking it so if you had a little spray bottle you know like one that you ladies would use for wetting their hair in the salon or whatever um, oh my god I'm gonna switch this camera around just watching this where I've been weeding look at these ants attacking this chaffer grub Are they attacking it to, to, they look like they're having a go, they are, they're having a go on it. Or are they trying to get that leaf, that bit of leaf mulch? No, they're having a good old go on it. Go on boys, have your fill. proper munching in in there <laughs> typical get distracted this is why I love my job mother nature at its finest and yeah look at that that's pretty groovy so I've lost my trail of thought so basically yeah get a little jet one of those little jet things you could go around the garden and just literally a little jet of water psh, spray it off because herbicide uh, insecticides aren't really going to get past that froth now these little frog hopper larvae uh, the cuckoo spit are really ain't going to be a problem when you've got fruiting crops um, they can you know be a bit of a pest when it comes to um, you know your veg gardens and all that sort of thing and your allotments and, see, and all your homesteading and all that sort of thing so yeah quick little video about the uh, so if you see the white froth it's the frog hopper farting out a protective goo
lovely. Anyway, catch up again soon. Cheers.